So I've done a few football videos recently and this one is no different, but I don't want to do too many of them. So after this, after today, I'm going to do a big fat live stream tomorrow. Today we are going to take a look at the celebrities or famous footballers who've been linked to playing football, right? Or play football in the past or linked to playing for a club in the future. Like this is really, really interesting, right? It's took quite a bit of research and I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, smash a thumbs up and like down below. Can we hit 3,000 likes for a big fat new video this weekend or a big fat Black Friday live stream tomorrow on Friday? It's going to be huge. Right? I'm going to live stream for hours, opening loads of packs. If you guys want to see it, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Talking of Black Friday, this exact controller is on sale right now at getgrip.co.uk in the description down below. If you go over there, there is a link to the Black Friday collection there on their obviously website. And this one, like I say, is like 20, 30 pound off or something like that. Absolutely insane, guys. Check it out. I'm using it as well. That is going to be today only. That is not going to be on sale tomorrow. This is an early Black Friday deal over at Get Grip. And uh, like I say, check them out in the description down below. But today, as you guys can tell by the title, that is the first player we are going to be taking a look at. A player. Not even a player, really, are they? None of these are players yet, but they could be in the future, right? They could be. It's going to be laughable. But there's some that could be, and there's some that just really are ridiculous. Justin Bieber is the first person we're going to take a look at in this episode, who's this week been training with Barcelona. I mean, what an opportunity and what a chance that is. Obviously, he is Bieber, and he is, like, super famous in his own right and stuff. That's why he gets an opportunity like this. But he gets to train with Messi, Neymar, Suarez, you name it. I mean, that's just incredible. How can Bieber just join in with a training session with Barcelona, right? Now, of all of these in this video, all these players you're going to see, this is one that is probably not linked to actually playing for Barcelona as such, right? I mean, it could be. I guess it's possible, but I just don't think it's very likely. It's actually incredible. Like, it's absolutely insane. 22 years of age, you get to just train with Messi, Suarez, and Neymar just for a bit of banter because you're that famous and that rich. You can just do what you want. I mean, Bieber lives a good life, man. Bieber lives a very good life. Now, it is time to take a look at four more players now who are linked with other clubs or have been linked with other clubs. Now, we've got a few that literally could be actually signing for someone else or could have signed for someone else. It's pretty huge. We have Mark Wright. Okay, now this guy, obviously, he does radio. He's been in Tower and stuff in the UK. Now, he played really well in a Celebrity Soccer Aid match. This is like early this year and stuff. And Sam Allardyce was the manager of Sunderland at the time. But anyway, he actually played really, really well. Scored absolutely banging goal and stuff. And apparently, Sam Allardyce was considering a shock swoop for Celebrity Soccer Aid star. That's right. A guy that's not even a footballer. He's just a celebrity. Does like TV, does radio and stuff. Played well in a celebrity soccer match, okay? And Sam Allardyce, obviously now we, we know, has uh, moved on to England then moved away from England pretty quick, would have actually signed a celebrity at Sunderland or given them a chance to come and train or something like that. That is absolutely insane rumours and stuff. Something I've not really heard of before. Like, it's not often that a celebrity plays in a, in a football match and then gets actually potentially scouted by a Premier League club. That isn't really common, is it? But either way, credit to Mark Wright. He actually did score a pretty good goal in that game and uh, I'm not sure it deserves a Premier League call-up, but I mean, he's going to take it. Who wouldn't take it? Next up is a One Direction star. It goes by the name of Louis Tomlinson. Now, this guy tried to sp uh, actually buy Doncaster Rovers like a couple of years ago via a crowdfunding campaign. Unfortunately, he wasn't allowed to do that. But I believe he does work quite closely with his beloved Doncaster Rovers, and there has been rumours in the past that he's actually like been training with them, actually going to play for them. Apparently, Tomlinson, 22, played for the club's reserve side against Barnsley um, in 2014. So he played, he played for the reserves. That's huge. So this is a bit more likely. Okay, we have Bebo, who's just training him at Barcelona just for a bit of banter probably. We had bloody Mark Wright who nearly got called up to a Premier League team. Then got Louis Tomlinson who actually played a game for the reserves. I mean that is huge. Absolutely insane stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff. I mean we're just getting more and more into this. Celebrities playing football. I mean what what is next? What is next? Well I'll tell you what's next alright. We got a story here about actually one of my favourite guys alright. I'm actually a big fan of this dude. We have Gordon Ramsay. I'm not just a big fan of his food man. His cooking but more his personality on TV. So apparently he used to play in the youth career, but apparently, like, there's a few rumors here that he said he used to play for the youth career, youth team, or whatever, and he got injured, and that's why they released him. But apparently, there's it's hard to believe whether he actually did play for the youth or not. Like, apparently, it's a bit all BS, so apparently, he made up a little bit about it or something. And apparently, it's, it's just bullshit. Now, I'm not really too sure what to say about this. He's come out and said, obviously, it was like 30 years ago, we can't really remember a lot of the details from back then. A lot of people have gone back and tried to research and stuff, can't find him an old youth record. There is a picture of him and like Ali McCoist or something like that back in the day at Rangers. 
and that's why they're sort of saying, oh, he must be right. But I actually like people at the club, they've gone through all the records and can't find any Gordon Ramsay on their books, whether it be youth career or what, or reserves or anything like that. So I'm not really sure what to make of this. So he apparently was going to be a professional footballer if he didn't get injured before, but uh, he still went on to be pretty damn successful, didn't he? Probably more successful now than what he would have done being football. So he made, he made a good career choice. Whether the career stuff was absolutely honest and he did play for Rangers or didn't play for Rangers, we'll never really probably know unless he just be as honest about it, but well, you know, why would he? Why would he? But yes, there are four players now, or not even players, celebrities we have taken a look at, and the fifth one is one that I've mentioned last week, and we have Usain Bolt at Borussia Dortmund. Now, what's huge about this one is he's actually currently training with Borussia Dortmund, so same as Justin Bieber, but a bit more serious, I think. So they're saying, like, if Bolt, if you do well, mate, we're actually going to sign you on. It's not a joke, we're actually going to sign you on. Whereas Bieber, you could have done amazing in training, and they're probably going to think... You're not quite going to fit in our team, Beats. It's Barcelona. Now, Usain Bolt apparently is no joke and it's not a marketing move. He's going to be training for Dortmund. And if he does well, you never know. He could be signed up. But anyway, guys, that is today's video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. It's very, very different. A big fat live stream coming tomorrow if you guys want to see it. I'm out. Hasman, as always, take it easy. Have a good Black Friday weekend. Peace.